Kalopana o ku tai mali e aho e ko te pua wakalautawa i e kaina o nomuka. Te aukei e pia pia he o ku whakatona i e kaina o e tamasi i a e maho inga o e ono ori be o e lotu mo e ako. Ko e nea honga hoko o whakatoponga tuia e to utuku o nomuka May I please call upon Amelia Mailangi? Amelia Mailangi to please represent the youth of Lamuka. I understand your excellency, uh, Lady Waterhouse, you will agree that the youth of any nation can be the weakness and can be the strength of a country. So Lamuka today uh, pointed out and they do realize they work together with the youth and I invite the representative of the youth to share with us a word of the moment. Kore atu ke whakapakoma o e rea maa e tautupu ka tanki o whakahoko a e rea o e tai mi gani. Mo ka tanki o pasi i mai tautupu Amiga Coelho da Lavaquia de Aurobis, que se sente o amor a Mamuca, o que o Toro e Mai e o Cau Corutea, o Fala e o Fratapu, que é o que o Mahu e o Mai e o Feu Cotanque, a Etou Tupu, que é o que o Cau e o Tou e o Cau e o Cau e o Cau e o Cau. Para o Cau e o Cau e o Cau, a Miria Mailani. ปากตัวว่าตัวไม่ฟังเสียงปากลังลังอีเอาหัวแต่ว่าเป็นนิสกลาวนี่เอาตัวตัวมาคอยบุญมีบ้านอุลตัวตาเปิดมาหัวรู
To be honest, I sat for days trying to figure out what to say. So I speak only from experience. I believe I may not be the best individual to testify today, but one thing I understand being a Tongan is to respect, obey and accept what has been delivered. I apologise if I say or do anything in my speech that may offend my fellow Tongans, but I will only talk about the experiences I've overcome to be the woman that I am today. I'm overwhelmed with emotion on today's event that has taken place. Out of everyone I question myself, why was I the one that was picked to do the speech? Why was the speech even put in place? I ran around asking everyone to write my speech for me, hoping it was the worst of the worst scenario today that they wouldn't call out my name and I would have to deliver the speech. I was handling my speech two weeks ago and avoiding the topic, I finally sat down last night and prayed that God would speak for me because I'm the worst public speaker. But I don't understand why because I have great customer service and great conversations with random people. For me, cultural education starts from home. I was born in Sydney, attended Catholic, attended Catholic education from primary up until secondary. As the majority of today's generation, I socialise with mixed nationalities and work in a multicultural environment. Being brought up in Australia, I grew to believe that it was the right choice my parents took to start their life here. While I was young, I didn't pay much attention to the white Sundays, the Tongan outfits, the decorations, just looking like a Christmas tree in general. Whenever mom decided to come and cover me, I didn't complain much, but we'd see in little church groups, church friends, and discuss how awful we look with our dangling decorations from our neck and our uncomfortable dog collars around our waist. And all we would get from the rest of the cinema was at church was sit, love business, offer, offer, offer. Telling us, don't be silly, it's beautiful. Over dramatizing how beautiful we, beautiful we look while we're sitting there being dramatic on how awful we look. All jokes aside, as a time you're not the person you are today, if it wasn't for your parents, your grandparents, your aunties, your uncles, and your cultural influences. I can't stress this out. And it's been stressed out through generation to generation. The teaching that's been provided verbally, viewing actions, physically, feeling the love emotionally, even if it means getting in trouble. Sometimes how you intake what's been thrown at you depends on yourself as an individual. One thing I learned from viewing my non society is that their love is strong. When they have the willpower, nothing will stop them from making it possible. They are people of strong mentality, for the strong mentality, they're there for their family and their little island. And the best part is, if you've been blessed with the of the blood, you have a warm smile that leads straight to your heart. It's my dad. <laughs> Since January, I've been socializing more than ever with my heart by side. And although our little island is nothing compared to Bonga Papa, but sometimes having nothing and appreciating everything is better than having everything and appreciating nothing. It's been a blessing to me that I've been raised in a culture. It's been a blessing to me that I've been raised in a culture that gives me a sense of belonging, respect, love and loyalty. Today's celebration has not opened my eyes, but a feeling I never knew existed. As an Australian, I can't explain, but refer back to our Tongan culture, our heritage, the preparation that's been put in place to make today beautiful. The experience I feel is unexplainable, but definitely a true understanding. God and Taha are my inheritance. Before you travel and explore far and wide across the globe, if you don't already know, I encourage that you take a trip back and get to know what and where your ancestors and grandparents and parents went through. 
and makes you appreciate being the individual that you are today. I conclude my speech today hoping that every individual here with a touch of Namuka, married to a Namuka, dating a Namuka, living with a Namuka, hates a Namuka, doesn't want to be in Namuka, whatever connection you have to Namuka, joins us in December's festivities because my knowledge of being back and forth from Namuka is a beautiful place, especially with the white sand and the clear deep blue sea. There is indeed a lot of work needed for back home, and we are the next generation in place. At the moment, our population sitting in Mamuka is sitting at le is less than 250 people. We are the next and maybe the only generation left to keep this little island's name in pride. So don't be ashamed of who or where you are from in time. It's what defines your background, not who defines you. Thank you. O te fa mole mole ana o te tamalai ki halo te lie. Te koe poto poto pe ai ni mui kita ka unga atu pe i hamatau. Te o te kau kau a ke tala ke a ki e la ni molo lo fonua. Te i ha tapa pe i kolo pe. O ko o pole pole ke faka i loa kita na o te fa ama. Koe no muka ao. Te a hon koe no muka ao a pon pon. Te koe no muka ao o ma o e pe ki nga ta ama. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we do hear very clearly from Amelia and we need to embrace on all those desires from our youth to make Namuka a better Namuka in the future. I really admire you for the hope of the family.